Ushalele nunga miti, winyu mba in. What's wrong with you? Hello my sugar binga bungas. I just want to say close your legs to married men. You Start know that man is married. Any chance you can. Close your Nothing. legs to that lady's Nothing. husband. You're he one ain't to getting talk. no divorce. You're one he to... is not getting a divorce. Oh yeah? He is and married. Oh, yeah? Close your legs to married men, hooker. And this is not coming from a place of malice. This is not me trying to bash other women, you know for a fact that I would never do that. That is not my brand. You know good and well that I'm all about you and I am all for you. And therefore, when I see that a sister of mine or when sisters of mine are being led astray, it is my duty to speak up and speak out. When I see that my sisters are heading in a direction that may be detrimental to them or that may lead them to their demise, it is my duty to call them back to order and to set them straight because the world needs women. There is no life without women. We are bearers of life. We are givers of life. And if we are wounded, if we are broken, if we are rotten, what happens to the world? So two of my absolute faves, namely Oli Babashe and Michali Damase, recently had a Q&A session where they were giving young women advice pertaining to relationships. I thoroughly enjoyed the first few minutes of that video because they were giving advice, epilisayo, advice that would nurture my sisters and that would help them realize just how beautiful, how powerful, how amazing and valuable they are. For example, one of the ladies who asked them a question asked them what they needed to do in a situationship where they had caught feelings. The guy that they are seeing is actually in a relationship and now this girl wants to be in a relationship with him. So she wanted to know if she should express her feelings and let this guy know, Uti, you know what, I'm done with the situationship. I want to be yours and I want to be the only one. Both Oli and Mishali advised her against this. They were like, Psh, this guy already has a girlfriend. There's no need for you to do that. You knew what you signed up for. You knew this was a situationship. Therefore, you should have tried by all means not to catch feelings. And we all know that if for whatever reason that bomb diggity has got you hypnotized and mesmerized and you ultimately catch feelings, then you should bounce. Because that relationship will not serve you. It won't favor you. The way that it started was not favorable to begin with. The terms and conditions attached or associated with it are not favorable. Therefore, you need to put your big girl panties on and bounce and get what you're now looking for. If you've gotten to that phase where you're like, actually, I want to commit and I want a deep, meaningful and healthy relationship, then bounce and move on to someone who wants that. Otherwise, you're playing yourself. And we don't want you to do that. We want you to love yourself and we want you to know your worth. And I thought that was beautiful because I'm huge on that. You can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself. And the moment you love yourself deeply, the moment you know who you are and you know your worth and you value and cherish yourself, nobody will walk all over you. You're able to instantaneously see red flags and bounce. This goes for people in committed relationships and marriages. The minute your partner shows their ass, the minute they deviate from their vows, you get up out of there because it'll become a vicious cycle. It will go on and on and on and on. And you have the power to stop it 
because what you allow is what will continue. And that is why I hate the begezela mentality. A sickest thing was so begezela in nonsense. There's absolutely no need to put up with rubbish, to put up with disrespect, to put up with abuse. And abuse isn't just physical. It saddens me when people say, well, yeah, he disrespects me, he disregards me. He sucks at communicating, he doesn't listen to me, he doesn't value my feelings, he cheats on me like crazy, but he never lays a hand on me. What do you mean? This guy is abusing you in every other way or this person is abusing you in every other way because it doesn't only happen to women. Men are subject to violence and abuse. Women are not saints. We need to be honest and we need to be realistic. If we want to heal ourselves, if we want to heal our people and if we want to grow and continue to advance and be able to move forward, it's pata easy. We need to talk about these things. We need to have these uncomfortable conversations. There are evil men and there are evil women. And until we admit that fact, until we get to the root of the problem and we start fixing it, we will forever remain at the bottom of the barrel. Onlebis Kanyilanga are so entertained by our ratchet and ghetto drama. And it's appalling. So as I was saying, I was thoroughly enjoying the first few minutes of that video because it was all about female empowerment and steering each other in the right direction as women. But yo, yo, I am an Kazana. Yo! So Oli Kabashe ended up exposing that she has been in a long-term relationship with a married man. Yeah, Dude, I've been, been having one girl. person for the past three years. We good like uh, that. Get married. No, he's Sweet. married. <laughs> needs and my sad times like so shamelessly even i was just i was taken aback i was flabbergasted i was appalled i was clutching my pearls because i'm a slow need like what, what do you mean if you're doing something that dirty that evil that vile we are fisa because isazo and it will never not blow my mind the way people are just normalizing BS. The moral decay in this world is insane, especially within our community. People will bash you for aspiring to get married first before you have children. Like what nonsense is that? I need to when we start talking like this, when we start stating facts. And I mean, I know that sometimes life doesn't work out the way that we plan for it to work out. I know that in and Azetu, I find. And that is one of the reasons why you don't find me looking kumakumangbuza banduti umitele nunga shadil. Because umbuzo lo, umbuzo wangempela, umbuzo osireas. But in most cases, you don't find people who have decided that they do not want to have children out of wedlock, asking people who had children out of wedlock why they had children out of wedlock. It'd be the very same people who had children out of wedlock asking you, why don't you have a child? What's wrong with you? The very same people staying and begazellering in toxic, abusive relationships asking you, why are you single? Why do you want to get married? Why are you married? But when that single, childless person turns around and asks them, why 
are you staying in that unhealthy situation of yours? Why are you busy reproducing children in poverty? Why did you have a child or why are you having children out of wedlock? Have you no shame? Do you not love yourself? Why not wait for someone who will be committed to you? Who will love you correctly? Who will want to be with you and you only? Who will want to build with you? And who will want to start a family with just you? And not that other baby mama that they have. Or not all these other baby mamas that they have. Why did you not wait for him to show how serious he was about you before you bared children for him? Then that person is the problematic one. Ugh, I hate how they're just so judgmental. Life will humble you. People don't choose to end up in these kind of situations. Yes, they do. You knew what you were getting yourself into. You knew the type of person you were dealing with, but you still fell pregnant for them. And even if he does marry you, is he committed to you? Does he want to build with you and raise a family with you? Is he faithful to you? Does he genuinely love you? Or was he just trying to cripple and own you by marrying you? So he could continue to break you down until there's none of you left. And simply because he gave you that ring, you feel that you won. You feel that you're better than other people. So for me, when Oli exposed that, I was just, oh, I stopped watching. I stopped watching. I couldn't take it in. I couldn't digest it. More than anything, I was disappointed because this is someone I love. And I'm all for people living their best lives. But if living your best life means hurting another woman in the process, what kind of person are you? If living your best life means demeaning yourself, demoralizing yourself, what kind of person are you? And when they say, I'm not my sister's keeper, what are you? We in Janji. The world is already effed up. So when are your role is to eff it up even more? And you're proud of that? We are kosha. You flex about it. You even tweet about it. And you make it clear to people who question, Wuti, what kind of life is that? No, no, no. And the other one who's married is somewhere else. And the funny part is that these women also want to get married. Don't ever fool yourself. There's no woman. Actually, there's no person on this earth who's genuinely okay with sharing their partner. There's no human being who's genuinely okay with not having anyone commit to them. Be faithful to them. Love them and just them only. People have just thrown in the towel. Be his anchor. No, 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 Michelle, the wife is the anchor. Be his <laughs> support. What's support the anchor? Be his, what's the thing when something is whole? Be his set. No, you can't be a safe place, please. That man is married. Just be his but peace. You can also be his peace. Yeah. Let him give you whatever you want. Be his peace. Yeah. What if you become the second wife? And, and you know what? If, if it happens, it will happen, dog. Yeah. And my thing is, I never, never not condone, not whatever. Because my thing is, what if he wants a second wife? People have accepted that, ugh, people are messed up. So I'd rather just pick my demon and stick with that demon of mine and tolerate their BS. Because ultimately, everyone is a demon. People go back to their exes. Or people stay in long-term relationships with toxic people because they're like, rather the demon I know than the demon that I don't. Forgetting that there are people who are angels out there. There are people who are looking for exactly what you're looking for. Whatever it is you're yearning for, there is someone out there who's yearning for the very same thing. So stop selling yourself short. So Mina, here I am looking at Michali who's just like, what? Chomi, how could you? That's insane. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's beautiful. Someone who's still pure. Someone who still has morals. Someone who's still appalled by appalling behavior. Who hasn't become desensitized to it and who hasn't normalized it. 
And I was like, wow, this is good. Only to find out that she too is messing with a married man. And Naya, we are kosher. Posting him, flaunting him as though he's a trophy when he's trash. When he's not only hurting his wife in the process, but his children too. And for me, in only poya vele yangripa. Yangripa. I can never look at someone like that the same, ever. Because what do you mean? And oftentimes I hear people saying, you know, side chicks used to know their place. They never used to expose their relationships with married men because they knew that what they were doing was shameful and disgusting. Because they knew that they were worthless. They knew their place and they knew that they were at the very bottom of the barrel. Run. Jesus! Jesus is Lord! I never spelled it. Nowadays, side chicks are bragging about being side chicks. Women are auditioning for the side chick position. And they see absolutely nothing wrong with it. It comes with benefits. Less stress. I know where he is when he's not with me. <laughs> you think you're the only one? Hi, Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. Hi, Tomasana. <laughs> because at the end of the day, these very same side chicks end up wanting the main position. They end up wanting to be the wife. And in most cases, it doesn't happen. But when it does happen, the cycle continues. You're the wife, he's gonna get another side chick, or five, or ten, and then some. And that's the life you want to live? I know Okokobetu and the system of patriarchy convinced us Uwuti we can't have our own. I know that system made us come across as subhuman, but it's 2022. We're so much wiser. We, our generation, is so much more advanced, so educated, so smart, so in the know. We're supposed to be an evolved generation that knows better and does better. But instead, the more we know, it's almost as though we're regressing, we're going backwards. And it makes absolutely no sense to me. It is shocking. And what's even more astonishing is that it's no longer shocking and astonishing to other people. It's become the norm. And yes, it's the duty of parents and partly of teachers to instill morals, values, and discipline in children. But when you sign up to be an influencer, your job is literally to influence other people to live like you, to look up to you, to buy what you're selling, to walk in your path. And it's dangerous if your message is detrimental, is harmful, is damaging, and will breed broken generations. You have the right to be yourself and to live your life, but regardless of the age group of your audience, you also have the responsibility to be responsible. You also have the responsibility to not lead people astray. You also have the responsibility to build and not break and destroy. It's even worse when your audience consists of young, impressionable girls and young, impressionable boys. Because ultimately, Ankatali Ungatini Utini Yebo Sia Fundiswa Emakaya Yebo Sia Fundiswa Ezi Koleni Bat Ezi Nizinto Si Tosha Emkakoin Ebanganin Ubantu Esbugela Bon. And nowadays, social media is huge. You can get quality education through social media. But social media can also turn you into a demon. You can be influenced to become a statistic. Speaking of statistics, Natasha Tahani, beautiful, a gorgeous, gorgeous girl, successful, sexy, powerful enough to swindle millions from an entire nation. 
wow. and then I needed funding and then I called U Prima and um Russell they helped me Gaigu Mambalega she was still the chairperson of parliament then yeah I'm like mama I need to go and study how much do you need at this time oh. yo it was a lot I think I spent around about a I think the entire year yeah. was a million and like it was a million plus yeah, yeah. It was a million plus good investment so good investment. but now there's still good like there's all these mm. things it was a lot mm. um and then like I'm like mama I need to go back to school I've been accepted, accepted. now ganje and not face any consequences yet she still became a statistic she still entertained an alleged abuser an f boy of note with multiple children from multiple women and she decided to become yet another baby mama she had so many options so much access she still does i'm not saying just because we're sending gani kupeli lingai it's not over she still has options she still has access she can still do right but i'm talking about the now and the fact that she can't change the fact that she is now a statistic she can move on better herself and do better level up in terms of a healthy relationship oh they're still together, they're together. yeah wow. they're together he's very supportive wow very very supportive how is it like growing up um and your grandfather's the archbishop I think being in that family just as a whole and having strong women having a cock or having a cool mm. and seeing how a cool loves a cock like it's the first time every day yes that was yes. like the bar for me you know when it comes to utand and seeing my mom seeing just that love you know it hasn't always been easy but utand and the support mm. so it was great and i've learned so much mm. and i'm here today because of him fundiso Are you related to Desmond Tutu? Ne? Yeah. Yeah, ne? What is he to you? We're related. <laughs> <laughs> We're related. Did you ever see like any political figures that just walk into your house on a random Saturday? For real. I got to live with them yeah. um, for two years. I think that's when I absorbed all the wisdom. But the fact still remains. She is now a statistic. She is now like every other woman who ignored the red flags and thought she was different her punani was golden and would change him and would make him stay with only her when will we learn it never works out that way we saw it with sierra we've seen it with many other women and we'll continue to see it it will continue to happen until we change our mentality until we begin to love ourselves wholeheartedly and it sucks it really really sucks balls and ass that men get a pass they can do as they please they can break hearts they can be savages and it's seen as cool i we saw that we play but she f boy but she satan u qobolwakhi who's busy going around creating broken children broken human beings who also continue that cycle of creating other broken people so long as we stick to this mentality and this isn't to bash our brother Tembinkosi Loch no we're pointing out facts sikomba izilonda so that we can be able to treat them and ultimately cure them because he too like many of our kings is damaged wounded broken they need love they need guidance and they also need to unite babonisane by yeke ukujudana because men do that a lot by ajudana and when you're a good man who aspires to do great things you're seen as weak you're seen as feminine soft fruity stupid russell and sierra yeah russell ain't had that bread so ain't gonna be with him <laughs> russell square
Russell, Russell Square. Square. Russell Russell Square. Thing Sierra, Sierra had a she she has a good situation, but she was you don't leave future they, she's and a, get with Russell Wilson. The, the, the thing is, I think that's what you you're wrong. You don't leave though. future and get with Russell Women Wilson. Like, it's, a, it's a type. Listen, Women bro, everybody peace. got a type. Yeah, that's true. Everybody has a type. You gonna leave future and get with Russell Wilson? Is, though, when you he's have, so goddamn square. You had he's this. a square. Channing. He's a fucking square. Channing, you go from this level of toxicity. You just want something stable. You want the guy that was sitting with that girl with that big old mouth at the draft that was laughing, and you knew she deserved to be with him. <laughs> goofball. Yeah, you want that you guy. You want to get with you, goofballs, no, husband. You want the guy. That- but when you're a deadbeat dad, a cheater, a liar, an abuser like Future. You're seen as a role model. Men need to set each other straight. We can't keep being rehabilitation centers for broken men. This needs to stop. Bafuet, kumele ni shangani, ni kotlisani, ni bonisani, ni pegelelani, ni lungisani. So that we don't keep breaking each other. And the very same way you hate it when women deceive you and disrespect you is the very same way women feel about the treatment that you give them. The way you guys lose your marbles when you get cheated on speaks volumes. You know it's painful. You know it's wrong. You know it's damaging. Yet you do it a gazillion times to other people's children. You do it a gazillion times to women and you expect them to forgive you and stay with you. Stay. Bon Yo. What a mess. Kota bai tanda yo. Nabazazi yo. They get to stepping. Kubenga tumuntu bula welum zal. Egbenye na guni ni kanga. Esa sanka. But masa gwenzi wagena. Woo. Waze wabo lum fas. Women are not good people. Women are the worst. How dare they try to compete with us? Go kala bona baya pela. Hamben la lelu tuvi. Chalo balon pedo. Pela ma gwen zinjan. Pela i nyona. Ninan pel bona baya pel. Yi nyen special ganga gens wuti ninan ga pel gotan hamben baba bal. Na wonko munt. You are hurt and therefore you're trying to hurt and cripple women. And that isn't the way to go. It shouldn't be a battle of the sexes. We need to help each other heal and grow. We need to establish the root of the problem. We need to figure out what exactly is the cause of this rottenness. We need to get to the bottom of it. And we need to start treating it and curing it. Because at the end of the day, we need each other. Whether we want to accept it or not, love is what makes the world go round. We all want love. And it's not shameful to admit that. There's power in admitting that. Nihamba njola, ni nyiswe ngapa, ni zami ngapa, because ultimately you're looking for something that will give you a sense of safety, comfort, peace, warmth, fulfillment. And yes, you can give all those to yourself, but it's even better when you get it times two from your partner who's all about you. And whether women want to admit it or not, everybody wants umuntu otiyena. Everybody wants to be committed to. Everybody wants someone who's going to be serious about them. They do want to get married, but they're demonizing it and they're diminishing it because they can see, my goodness, what are the chances that I will get this blessing. And if I do get showered with this blessing, what are the chances that it will work out for me when people are divorcing left, right, and center? It comes from a place of fear. It comes from a place of doubting themselves, doubting other people, doubting the world. It comes from a place of bitterness. I've been hurt so many times. Surely, Every man is messed up and I'm going to convince myself so that if I actually don't meet a good person who's going to be serious about me, who's going to be faithful to me and who's going to love me wholeheartedly, 
I will console myself and I will say, Bele gafana. Woo, I'm in gay jile, have a sazonia. We are pimsha twin. Woo, have a sazuchubumezeka. It comes from a place of envy. The grown ass men who claim to not want to get married and those who run away from commitment and marriage are simply overgrown babies. They're irresponsible. It also stems from a place of fear. It stems from a place of brokenness. I didn't get to see this at home. What are the chances that if I do take on this huge responsibility, it will work out for me? Or I did get to see this at home, but the happiness only lasted a couple of years. Over time, it became unhealthy, toxic, abusive, dark, and I'm worried I'll end up in the very same position. So rather not, rather be an F-boy, rather act like a savage and act like I don't have feelings. I've got this ice box where my heart used to be. Rather look up to future who's all over the show. Pushing 40, but you don't even know whether he's coming or going. Really? That's your king? What happens to our community? What happens to us as a people? The vicious cycle of brokenness continues. And I remember when Mini Lamini got married, a lot of people, a lot of people were very bitter about it, very jealous. They had a lot of negative things to say. They were spewing hatred. Their dark hearts were right in our faces. Some were excited, genuinely happy for her. But I'm highlighting the issue that we have here as a people. There was a lot of negativity surrounding that. And I really wish she didn't tweet and hint that things were getting tricky, that there was trouble in paradise because that invited a lot of dark energy within her space, within her marriage. And I guarantee you it's one of the reasons it crumbled. People were rejoicing way before that marriage fell apart. Yeah, yeah, na aya queen. Bekaba mutu uban ye na zushatwa. Ubenza anye na. Who does she think she is? Why did she think she could have a beautiful, healthy marriage for the rest of her life? What makes her so special? We are papa. What? Who thinks like that? Are you guys not witches and wizards? Wena uzo kulu ube nevene. Masum dala uzo tagata mwaba unu mwona. Wena. Uzo kula ube nevene. Deti fa wagabu na yo food. Mtagasha nandini. And when her marriage finally disintegrated, my goodness, it was a party. And it was just us celebrating the demise of a beautiful, sacred union. The episode is not the only thing you couldn't finish. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the podcast lasted more than a marriage. <laughs> Jesus, dog. She does have to say, me as an agur. We did say. Damn. Sorry for you know it's the people who subscribe to Show Max to watch her wedding and look now. You see, you see. What was it becoming, Miss Jones? I think so. Two yeah. days, too special. Or no, yes. not two days, too special. Yeah. Two part special. Mm, that's show a big makes. bag. Yeah. But that's the thing, bro. Nobody in their right mind Knows would ever the marry. No, mm -hmm. would ever marry an it girl. <laughs> you can't wife an it girl. You hit and run. That's it. Mm. Tell me which it girl has had a successful marriage. I'll wait. It never lasts, bro. Never, never, never lasts. Many people had many vile things to say. And my goodness, social media will show you people's asses. The things that people feel and think but don't utter in real life was was born with social media. That's when I discovered Wuti Heibo. We're living amongst demons, Mos. And it's so sad because Ezinizizwe promote unity. They promote marriage. They encourage people to unite and build together and bring children into stable, loving, healthy homes. 
But when our brothers have multiple baby mamas, uis koko, yinja yinja. And when our sisters have multiple children from different men, they make excuses for their actions. You knew what you were doing. When that first guy showed you his booty, you mised. You overlooked the red flags. You wanted to stay and fix him. You thought to yourself, I'm not the other woman. I'm not the other baby mama. It will work out, la kumin. Even after he showed you his character again and again and again, you stayed and you procreated with him. He showed his ass until he showed his booty hole and you couldn't take it. So you moved on to the next one who did the very same thing, but you still procreated with him. The signs are always there. I don't care what you guys say, guys. People say this all the time. Nah, people change over time. People can hide who they are. People always slip up and show you who they are. And you know this. Deep down, you know this. And we're all guilty of staying through it. And I'm actually so tired of saying, do better. I want more celebratory stories. I want more positive stories. But unfortunately, I'm a nigi nigi nji. Yonkinto ima hipi hipi. And we need to have these conversations, no matter how uncomfortable they are. Because we can't heal what we don't reveal. And if we keep sweeping these things under the rug, and if we keep being scared of, see, if I talk about this, I'm going to come across as a pick me, or I'm going to come across as a woman basher, or I'm going to come across as an angry black woman, da 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 da. Let me not. I'm not scared of anybody. And like I always say, and yonkinto si bega gembaba. So in closing, if you're messing with a married man, knowingly, you are trash. I'm in a very healthy relationship. Uh, very happy. Uh, but he's married. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, he's in a uh, healthy uh, relationship uh, with married men. Well, that's rich uh, coming yes, from me. Hey, hey, it does not be like that sometimes, child. Oh, uh, you know this how? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sister. Hmm. Sister, me hey, darling. Sister. Guys, that is very guys funny. I just think it's it's very tricky when it comes to the whole you, marriage thing because this is you get what I'm saying. But he's married. How are you happy and healthy? So you need to heal, and you need to do better. And if you support that whole movement of indota itatwem doing. Or um to uta twem doing. I'm talking to men too. Sure. And my mom always says, "Good the indoor talo itola ilenga ishkasen uitola to the moon." Your eyes sign. You grab from another person. Let me go fetch my man. I'm joking. Why when you are garbage? You're part of the problem. You are the problem. Heal. Get your own. Exactly, so, yeah, exactly. I think rather choose yourself and get yourself your own partner, babe. Exactly. And rebuild this effed up world. And if we is firm, oof, I hope you get what's coming to you. Because at Trineni, it takes two to tango. The one who made the vows and the one who was born with the oys, koko uzo shigiza, a shagasi, a shepule and I hope you both get what's coming to you. I hope everybody who's involved in that vicious, dirty, dark, demonic cycle gets what's coming to them. But ultimately, I hope they learn. I hope they get to the root of their issues. I hope they heal and I hope they become better. And it isn't just for your sake.